Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Tuesday, August 18th, 2009. This morning I'd like to continue on with the examples. We're going to scroll down and go to a non-database example, this server tools one. So we're going to load this, and once it's in we don't need to worry about any database things because, as I said, this is a non-database example. So we'll go straight in here, and just before we look at any of the code, let's go and browse of the process monitor. I've gone through the process monitor itself, but this is an interesting thing you could put in into a server if you wanted to be able to go ahead and look at how things are running in it. And again, you probably wouldn't want this in your running application on your production server, but for a test server it's quite useful. So this is that. Let's go back out to here and go to Browse File Browser. This is interesting because it shows you all the files and directories in your web velocity directory structure. Keeping in mind that this is again something you don't necessarily want to make it as a public thing because somebody could potentially go and do something interesting. But you can go through here and take a look at things that are in there. So there's an image, there's something it doesn't recognize, there's another image. So you can go through and get a look at what's in your system. Let's go back out to the top though and take a look at the source code. Classes, let's take a look at File Browser. And this is set up in a fairly simple-minded fashion. You come here to render content on. This is just a straight seaside kind of thing. It's not really using a whole lot of web velocity itself for the pages. You notice I wasn't using any of the templates. So you come down here and we do a div with the file browser content, and then we have a div with the directory, with the file preview, and with the page footer. So we have all of that coming in. And if you go to page footer, for instance, then we have this powered by web velocity, blah, blah, blah. So that's how we get that in there. That's how this comes down here, here, even though we're not using the standard web velocity template. So, so let's go back into the class structure. We'll take a look at the process monitor briefly. And you see, I've gone through this before, but again, render content on. It is not a standard web velocity templated application, so we're looking more like a standard seaside thing but of course using some of the web velocity access to JavaScript libraries. So that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with Smalltalk.